Today I'm going to show you how to make these delicious cheese and pumpkin Turkish bread sandwiches. They're a vegetarian sandwich and they're really, really good. So I've got my ingredients assembled and I've partially started on it because what you need is some sliced and already roasted pumpkin and onion. Now I've just used a few slices of red onion and I bought a small pack of pumpkin chunks that were already cut up. I just sliced them again so they'd be a little bit thinner so they would roast quickly. It took maybe Oh, I'd say about 15 to 18 minutes in the oven and I flipped them over halfway through just to make sure they were good and tender and as you can see you can easily pierce into them so they're soft enough to go ahead. Now this recipe makes four sandwiches. I'm actually only going to make two today. So besides the pumpkin and the onion which are roasted, I've got some artichoke hearts which are in a jar. We're going to need um, four of those for the whole recipe so for our sandwich today just two of them. We're going to slice those. If you've got some fresh basil on hand to garnish at the end, that's great. Um, my basil's a bit picked over, so I haven't got too much. Um, probably four to six slices of cheese, just depending on how much you like on it. You can use a light cheese. And then for the four sandwiches, you're going to need a loaf of Turkish bread, which we're going to cut in half and then in half again to get two sandwiches for each meal. Now again, since I'm only making two tonight, I'm going to cut this in half and put the other half away. Okay, so if you're making all four sandwiches, you're basically going to cut it through the lengthwise this way so you can open it up, and then again, into four pieces this way. Since I'm only going to use half of it, I'm going to do that cut first and put half of this away. Now with the remaining one, I'm just going to cut that in half again and then cut each to open up like a sandwich. So just carefully through the middle but not quite all the way through so I can open it up. It might come apart and that's just fine too if it does. The next thing we're going to want to do is divide your cheese up onto these pieces of bread and then we're going to toast them in the oven in, uh, under the broiler or griller. Just put a little extra on those two pieces. Just lay those on a pan. And our oven's already hot just because I happen to have just cooked the pumpkin. So if you've got a broiler, put them under the broiler. Here in Australia the grillers are up top. So I'm just going to put that in there for about two to three minutes to lightly toast it and melt the cheese. So now I'm just going to take four of these artichoke hearts out and kind of let them drain so you don't get too much of the liquid. Actually, sorry, the recipe calls for four. I'm only making two sandwiches tonight, so I'll probably only need two, but we'll see how I go. I just want to slice these. You're going to get a lot of great flavor from these on your sandwich. They're so good. So it's been about two and a half minutes, but I can see the cheese is just starting to bubble. So I'm going to pull it out because I don't actually want it to get too brown. I just want it lightly toasted. So now all that's left is to assemble the sandwiches. Now I've just used half the pumpkin and onion. I've put the rest away for another day. And I'm just going to divide these up evenly on the bases. Onion's nice and soft and roasted. Should have some great flavors here. Of course, don't forget the artichokes now if you have some fresh basil like I said go ahead and throw a little bit on and then all you're going to want to do is put the tops on and serve so there you have it cheese and pumpkin Turkish bread sandwiches they're a nice easy Quicken, yet kind of a gourmet little sandwich. They're really tasty. Give it a shot.